Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the subject of culling um, when it comes to your quail. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people have come to associate the word culling with killing uh, your birds, and that's not always necessarily the fact. Um, I've got a lot of birds right now, especially some young ones that are, are growing out, and um, I've got a lot of colors that I need to, to get rid of. I've got a lot of males that need to go out to the uh, uh, meat pen. And then I've got some adults that I wanna swap out for some of these younger females uh, for the upcoming uh, egg laying season. So uh, let me go ahead and grab uh, the other camera and I'll take you around real quick and show you what I'm gonna be doing with the birds and kind of explain to you real quick while, uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing and uh, to give you a better idea on what culling actually is. Okay, so here's an example of some of the birds that I need to uh, cull on this round of culling. Um, up here, I've got a bunch of six week old males that are getting ready to go out back into the bachelor pad and I'll grow all these males out and butcher them probably around eight to nine weeks old, um, put them in the freezer. Uh, I've got a bunch of hens down here uh, young hens uh, which haven't started laying yet, but I'm going to use some of these hens to replace some of my older hens uh, for the upcoming season. Um, and down here I've just got a, a mix of uh, whites and uh, jumbo wilds, which I'll probably end up, what I can't sell off of those, I'll probably end up putting them out in the, uh, the meat pen also. Okay, here's a little uh, better close-up shot of the, uh, the males. Um, that I'm going to be taking out back today um, and put in the uh, bachelor pad out back. Like I say, I'll probably grow these guys up for another couple weeks and uh, they'll end up being butchered and put in the freezer. Okay, and down here, um, I've got a bunch of young females, which uh, what I'll end up doing with these uh, in about two weeks, I will weigh them and see if they make weight for uh, the jumbo pharaohs and the ones that make weight will be replacing uh, some of my older hens. Okay, and this is the, uh, the cage that has the mix of uh, Jumbo Wilds and uh, Recessive Whites. And like I say, the, uh, I'll probably pair these females up with some of the males and uh, sell them as breeding groups. You know, to try to get a little bit of money out of them. The ones that I can't sell, like I say, they'll end up going out back and uh, growing up for meat. Okay, so let me show you some of these uh, older hens that I'm gonna be retiring. Um, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, it's a little bit dark in these cages, but uh, these hens uh, have been uh, producing for about nine and a half, 10 months. So I'm gonna go ahead and retire them and uh, replace them with some of those younger hens that I showed you earlier. But uh, let's see if we get a shot there. You can see some of them are pretty beat up from the males. Uh, you know, they're, they lost a little bit of their uh, head feathering and some of their back feathering. That's just the males being a little bit rough on them. But uh, I'll also replace some of these males. Um, I've got quite a few males, younger males that I can choose from. So I'll go through and see which ones uh, make weight and uh, the ones that'll do, that do will be put in with the, uh, the younger hens. So yeah, probably the entire battery of cages right here, these guys will all be culled to make room for some younger hens. Even though they are still producing, um, I just feel better for the upcoming season to have some younger hens in here. Okay, also if you keep uh, colored birds, um, such as the German pastels or the Schofield Silvers, uh, one of the byproducts of breeding these guys is that they don't always hatch out true and you can end up with some uh, colors that you don't really need such as the uh, whites or pharaohs. Um, so on these guys what I'll do is I'll let them feather out a little bit more and then I'll go through and decide which ones I want to keep for breeding and which ones I want to sell off as uh, pets or uh, breeding stock for other people because even though they, they are uh, whites or pharaohs um, they can still be gene carriers. So, you know, some people might be interested in them. These are Schofield Silvers. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. But, uh, you know, like right there, I've got a pharaoh and another pharaoh. 
So I'll go through these guys, like I say, after they feather out and uh, figure out which ones I want to keep. Uh, down here, I've got a bunch of uh, Italians. And uh, I'll be going through these also and deciding which ones I'm going to put into my breeding program. Okay, and a lot of these, uh, these colors uh, that don't make standard for me, uh, like some of the tuxedos and uh, the Tibetans and whatnot, I can donate those to the local 4-H club. Um, the kids love raising them up as pets. And uh, some of them have pretty coloration. You know, it's just, uh, it's not what I'm looking for. So, you know, I'll just donate them out. Okay, so I hope this gives you a little bit better idea of what it means when somebody says that they've got some culling to do with their birds. Um, it doesn't always necessarily mean that the birds are going to be killed. Um, they could be going into the pet market. They could be going into a 4-H uh, club. Uh, a lot of times it does mean that the birds are going to be dispatched. Like in the uh, case of my males, they're going out to the grow-out pen out back, the bachelor pad we call it, and they are going to be dispatched. But I can't hardly give those birds away, let alone sell them. So it's more logical for me to grow them up to the uh, the weight that I want and then go ahead and butcher them and put them in the freezer to supply meat for my family. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so. It helps me out and you'll get notifications of any new and upcoming videos. Um, I appreciate everything that you guys do for the channel and uh, if you're not already a member of the uh, Facebook uh, group page head on over to Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash Caternix or Caternix one, something like that. I'll put a link in the description down below, but uh, thanks again for joining us guys. And we'll see you on the next one.